Welcome back everyone to a brand new Shrine Guide video here on the Proximus Gaming YouTube channel. My name is Michael and in this video the Shai Kata Shrine, also known as Shai Kata's Blessing. The Shai Kata Shrine is located in the Lake region in the Spring of Courage. A shrine quest is applicable to unlocking the shrine and I will show you how to get it, how to solve it, how to uncover the shrine and how to complete the shrine. In order to find the quest, we start at the Farron Tower. Open your map and go to the northwest part right here, just next to the road. Place a pointer and that's where we need to go. Make sure you're heading the right way, open your Sheikah Slate to determine your way to go and just jump off and paraglide down. In this video I tried to show you the most easy way to get it, without having to fight a lot, without having to encounter too much enemies and just without any issues to get there. When gliding just go straight towards the waypoint. Here, just climb up and just keep on moving. This, by the way, might also be a very good time to tell you guys that if you like this video, then please give this video a thumbs up. That helps with the discoverability of this video a lot. And when you're there, hit the subscribe button. That is what we need to grow our channel. All right, we made it to the quest giver. A visitor? So deep in the forest? Ah, we meet again. I trust they're keeping well. I know a song about this place. Would you like to hear the ancient verse passed down in this region? Let's hear it. Excellent. Without further ado. Where the forest dragon slays its jaws. A shrine sleeps with noble cause. The forest dragon? I've never seen a dragon in a forest around these parts. Though, I suppose the forest from the song could be the Damel Forest north of here. There's definitely a secret lying in wait. It's just a matter of tracking it down. May the light illuminate your path. The Serpent's Jaws Shrine Quest. Good. What we do now in order to fulfill the Shrine Quests? By reading the Shrine Quest we don't know yet what we're gonna do, but we need to go to this shrine, the Shoda Sa Shrine, one we visited earlier. If you have not visited it yet, Click in the right upper corner right now to know how to get her. As you can see we're behind a waterfall. You need a Zora tunic or a Zora piece of armor for this in order to reach this. So jump off and just go up the waterfall with your Zora tunic or Zora pants or whatever you have. When on top just try to get to the side, climbing on, because this is the place where Farosh, the dragon, will eventually come out of the water. Now make a fire by getting some wood and light the fire, any way possible. Use a fire arrow or some flint. Sit by the fire until morning. And there we go. The wind is coming up and we see the dragon appearing. Now use a normal arrow and just shoot the dragon. 
see where it lands. It's shining a little bit, go towards it and press A. We got Farosh's scale. Good, now that we have that, we're going back to the place we started at the Farron Tower. Warp towards it. And at Farron Tower. Now open your map again. And go all the way here. Again to the northwest. And there, place a pointer. Just go towards the waypoint by jumping off and use your paraglider once again. I think it's easiest to just go this way. Onto this platform. The way I'm showing it to you you will avoid lots of enemies because there are some enemies shooting their bows with electric arrows and we don't want to cross them. We want to fight, at least I want to fight, as less as possible. If you watch my videos, then you know in these games I'm a lover, not a fighter. So if I can avoid fighting, I certainly will. Just keep continuing this way. And in case you're interested, I also stream games such as The Legend of Zelda live on Twitch. Feel free to check it out someday. Link to my Twitch channel is in the description down below. It would be really fun seeing you there someday and just to talk to you. When we made it here, we can see some slumbering guardians, some ancient guardians. The first one is not active, but as soon as we reach that one, we can see that it starts to live. Well, at this point, just jump off, use your paraglider, you will avoid the range of the guardian, And just glide because this way we also will avoid the enemies that are shooting electric arrows towards you. Glide all the way into the serpent's beak. Through the thief and there's an enemy we kind of have to defeat because he's actually guarding the entrance, so just make sure you have a good weapon and just fight it. When it's done, pick up everything he has, if you want, or just leave it, it's up to you. And as you can see there, there are some enemies standing, some Lizal Falls. Open the treasure chest that's there and a gold rupee worth of 300 rupees inside, which is a nice one! Walk up towards the goddess statue and press A. You have done well to find this spring. Offer Farish's scale received from the golden spirit to the spring of courage. I, goddess Hylia, will guide you. Well, what we need to do now is to open your inventory, to search for Farish's scale which I can't find. It needs to be somewhere here. Where is it? Where did I put it? I picked it up, right? I certainly did. Oh, wait. There it is. Stupid me. Overlooked it. Anyway, pick it, drop it, and there we go. hidden door opens and a shrine is behind it. 
Your path has shown itself. Now, go forth. Very good. Now, it's time to get in the shrine, shall we? For the last part of this video. Let's get in. To you who set foot in the shrine, I am Shokata. By entering this place, you've already woven your worth. Shokata's blessing. Shokata Shrine. Walk up towards the treasure chests, open it. And a thunder spear with the strength of 22 is inside. Whatever, it's up to you. Take it or leave it. Whatever you did, walk towards the end and press A. You have done well to arrive at his shrine. A hero rises to right the wrongs of Hyrule. In the name of Goddess Hylia, I bestow upon you this spirit orb. Spirit orb, a symbol of courage given to those who have overcome the challenges of a shrine. May the goddess smile upon you. Awesome, another shrine completed. Did you think it was difficult or was it easy? Or maybe you found a more easy way? Let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe and see you in my next video. Thank you for watching. See ya.